everybody welcome back to the channel if you're watching Ritter bit will do and today we are on day three of cleanup so stick around I'll tell you what we got going on today so I'm back at the old farmstead 134 year old farmstead as you can see they've got the big giant tree off of the roof they got that down with a crane uh, they took another tree out of here uh, that had a potential to fall down that was right over there and um, in in front of me are a whole a lot of branches from that particular tree that need to be cleaned up so today i have the artillion grapple on the tractor today so that's going to come in really handy plus there's another tree way over there and there's some more branches all over the place so let's go take a look at what we got going on today this particular tree did not fall down in the storm however the root system was cracking and I don't know if you can tell real well on the camera or if you caught my live stream, but this was a big crack right here. And this tree eventually was going to fall. No matter what we were able to do, it was going to come down because there was too many roots that were already broken. So what they did, the guys that uh, operated the crane, after they got the big tree off of the roof, they, uh, they cut this one down and got it out of here, which, which is fine. It's good. Uh, one less tree to have to worry about. I was kind of hoping to cut it down, but oh well they got to it first which is fine back here is a lot of a lot of brush to clean up a lot of damage yet um this 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 giant root ball here from that cluster of trees that was down this one here and this was the big tree that was on the roof this was the one that landed on the house so this was a pretty interesting one the way they got it off and if you want to watch exactly how they did it my buddy Justin from Finky Firewood Service was out here filming the whole thing. Him and his daughter, they got a nice video of the whole process. Okay, so go check out their channel. I just watched their video yesterday um, and subscribe to their channel. I'd, I would really appreciate it. Tell them I sent you. Tell them I said hi. And tell them thank you very much for me. I mean, man, they've been awesome. So they were able to get some video footage of the tree coming down. Kind of a... Kind of a yeah it's a situation that you know you're taking a giant tree off of the roof you're hoping nothing goes wrong and and yeah i think they maxed out the weight of the crane so they had to do a few things to make it work um back here in a live stream i talked about this giant white pine this white pine is just massive just huge it's it's got to be close to 300 years old uh when that tree right there came down it did a lot of damage to this one as well as this spruce tree over here the top of that came down you can see and it just kind of raked a bunch of branches off of this thing and uh, here's one of the branches right here look how it just kind of curves <laughs> around the house yeah how lucky could we have been right oh uh, so yeah a lot of cleanup over here is yet to happen and the biggest trees the giant trees that uh what were in my last video actually if you watch the rest of the series of this whole cleanup process the really big trees were over there and the crane guys took it they they took the big giant log um at least i'm hoping it was them that did it so they brought it they got their equipment in here and took that now that tree is huge and if you want a perspective of how big that one go back to my last video before this one and um, check it out because I, I walk on it and I look like a little tiny guy walking on top of that great big monster but yeah the top of it is here but uh, yeah we're gonna give the artillion grapple a good workout we'll see how things go so that's what I'm up to today guys stick around
This Artillion grapple is the ticket. I love this grapple for this tractor, and I'll tell you why. There's a lot of reasons that I like this grapple. One, 29 inch opening, okay, almost 30 inches, which means that I can get a hold of a lot more stuff with one bite. And number two, these grapples work independent of each other. So I have this set up as an example, but if you have one side of your of the load that's a lot bigger than the other side you're still going to get an equal closing force unlike some of those clamshell grapples where you're putting a lot of stress on one side or the other of those pivot points this one equal force over a thousand pounds of closing force and you really know that you have a good grip on stuff number four reason i like these grapples they are lightweight and super strong they're made from ar 400 steel and they only weigh 90 pounds a piece and the number five reason, they're modular. I can move them around. I don't have to have two grapples. I could just have one in the middle. And Artillion makes these rake sections that only weigh 40 pounds a piece that you can have a rake section on the outside and one grapple in the middle, or you could have two grapples and one rake section in the middle. With this job that I'm doing right now, I'm not really needing the rake section in the middle. This is working best to have two grapples because I can kind of move them in and out from each other, which uh, gives me a, even more versatility. So yeah, number five reason is the versatility, the modular system. You don't need to buy both. You can buy one. You can save up for another one later if you need it. Um, but the, uh, the fork frame, you can put forks on it. You can put a stump bucket. You can put these grapples, those rake sections, and they even have an angular plow for the winter time if you're moving snow or if you want to move some dirt too. Uh, so go check out artillion.com. I know this kind of turned into a little bit of a commercial for, about Artillion, but this grapple is perfect for compact tractors. If you want to watch more about it, I got more videos on my channel. And check out Tractor Time with Tim. He also has the Artillion grapple, and man alive, does he ever put that thing to work, more so than I do. So guys, that's about it for this one. I'd really do appreciate it if you'd hit that thumbs up button. Give me a comment. I really would appreciate that as well. And until next time, keep on tractoring, and God bless.